Okay, people, we are ready to implement our first method, and the method is going to be DLL register server. This is the method that is going to add the keys to the registry that ultimately point to this DLL that we're going to make. And uh, by implementing this now, we can get, I can show you how to debug faster. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, we are going to use the following method to create the key. So reg create key x. Good. And now the this thing takes a bunch of parameters. The first parameter will be the um, will be one of these five six five base keys so uh, in this case I'm going to create the key I'm going to create let's scroll down using this okay I'm going to create one of these keys so a key for our GUID inside the CLS ID folder and I'm going to put it in the lower level H key local machine so I'm not going to bother putting it up here. From, to me, that's kind of silly. All right, so H key local machine. The next parameter, which we can see right here, this is uh, the sub key. So, so this is where you would put like, OK, I want to put it in software, classes, and CLS ID, and um, and then the GUID, but we can't like build strings right here directly in the parameters, so we're going to have to build it outside. Um, but we're going to ignore that for now <clears throat> and deal with these other parameters. So the next one is reserved. That one I just know by heart is zero. Next one is LP class. What is that? I think that's null. Next one, DW options. So that's, what is it going to be? Reg option, non volatile. Yeah. Sam desired. Oh, we're just going to put key right. And uh, security attributes. I think that's null as well. Null. And then, oh. Okay, so here, we're going to return an H key. And then here, well, uh, let's just uh, LP disp. <laughs> what is this, a D word? Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create a a, um, a GUID key, right? And this H, this parameter here, when this method completes, is going to contain. Um, the path to the key that we create and we'll be able to use that conveniently later and then this eh, we're not really going to use it i mean you may want to use it when you debug so all right i'll explain it it will return a one or a two depending on what this method does so if it creates a new key then um, it will return a one but if the key already existed then it'll return it to or something like that okay good so I think now what we'll do is we'll create some variables for that so we're gonna create an H key H key and then um, what is this one D word D word LP disp okay all right good now now we have to focus on creating this sub key here and what I like to do I know it's not very sophisticated but I like to use W strings because concatenating strings with those is easy for me so we're gonna create a string called LP sub key and it's gonna equal software Oops, software classes, 
PLS ID, and then hold on. Plus, and then we're going to have something here to represent the GUID, but for now, let's leave that alone. Okay, first let's deal with this, this W string thing. So we need to include something else. Include string, that's all. And there we go, that goes away. Okay, so now comes our first little challenge. We have to turn this, or our GUID here, into a string that we can app append here. So how are we going to do that? Well, there is a method that we can use called string from CLS ID. And I forget how it works. So I think first we put the CLS ID. What did I call this? YouTube. Are you serious? YouTube shell extension. And then the next one will be a, an address of um, some variable that we want the string to be in. So let's just say temp string, which means I have to create a temporary string here. I'm not, I have no idea if it should be a pointer or not. Yeah, let's make it a pointer. Okay, good. And then ultimately what we'll do is actually, we will just be lazy, and then do std string, oops, w string, and then temp string. Good. And then we'll put that here. Although this, parameter isn't supposed to be for w string so we'll just put dot c string there we go okay so now we have to deal with this this is undefined which means we have to include our guid file oops there it is good And that should go away, but it is not. Did I name it right? No, I did not. Okay, good. I think we're ready to finally debug. So, how does debugging go? First, we're going to build. And we're going to make sure it says x64 before we build. So, file, build, build solution. Oh my god. Okay, so for now, let's just return SOK. Okay. Actually, no, let's put E not impl. That means not implemented. Good. All right, let's build again. What? All right, fine. Here we'll return SOK. Okay. okay, good. So what this has done is it has created a DLL right here in our debug folder. And we are going to attempt to run this code. So how do we do that? It's very simple. We go to this directory and then we open a command prompt. So we'll do command. And then, okay, we're gonna use a little program that comes with Windows. It's called reg server 32. And then we are going to run our DLL or point to our DLL. dll and what this command is going to do when we press enter is it's going to run this code it's going to run this function hmm you know what I'm going to do so here's 
one way you can start debugging this. You can do what I like to do, just put in message boxes. So um, we are in. And then I guess DLL register server, just so we know what method this message box is coming from. And then do MB OK. Okay, so that's how you can do your print statements. All right, and let's build this again really quickly. And then, ready, set. Hold on, let me check if I have the name right. Yeah, it's good. Okay, ready, set. When I press enter, we're going to see a message box. Okay, ready, set, go. There we go. We are in. And then after we click, click OK, we're going to get a message saying that the DLL was installed successfully. There it is. And good. So our, our code was run, and it was all good. And the final check will be to see if there's a key for the GUID in here. So what is the GUID? E913A. So let's scroll down to the E's. E9, oh, E91, what? Oh, <laughs> I need to refresh. It'll be here, there it is. Congratulations, guys, we did it.